It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today we're going to continue our exploration into the Yang Cheng Fu's 13 original postures. And we're also going to, uh, by request, we're going to revisit the uh, that little wood warm-up exercise we did uh, last week. It, it's, a, it's an I Chuan exercise that just allows us to gently uh, get the uh, the wood chi going because we are now in springtime and the daffodils are pushing their way up in the yard. So that indicates to me that yes, spring is indeed here and it's time to embrace your wood chi. So the wood is that thrusting uh, directional energy that uh, is characteristic of spring and also relates to the uh, liver chi. And it has to do with uh, with getting stuff done. It has to direct it. It's uh, it's um, energized. It's expansive. It's moving from from the yin of winter to the yang of summer. So there's this gradual growth. So we're we're starting off nice and easy, and we're learning to tap into that. So with the wood, we um, it also activates your connective tissue system, particularly your tendons and ligaments, and strengthens them, which is really key to any of the uh, internal arts that we're playing with. And uh, it uh, uh, the it relates also to your fingernails and your hair. And so the uh, one of the things I encourage is is to to feel your fingernails as though you have claws. I like to think of dragon claws and, and your fingernails. So you have this, this powerful uh, energy that gets stimulated by your fingertips, by particularly your fingernails. So bringing that into the Tai Chi form, bringing that into, you know, just do it throughout your day. Just really tap into that and you start to resonate with the season. So therefore, you're going to the energy that you're you're developing, you're cultivating inside, is going to reflect the phase that nature is going through in the moment, and that's going to you're going to start to resonate there. You're going to the it, it encourages the uh, that energy in you. So uh, we'll begin with the three pillars. Then we'll go into the uh, the uh, that each one exercise, and then we'll get into the uh, the Yang Cheng Fu. Okay, so uh, why don't you uh, stand up? Can they see my feet? Yes. Yeah, there we are. Okay, I can come up here and roll for you. Okay, good. All right, so let's begin with the three pillars to get the. Feel your weight over the balls of your feet. You feel yourself so sinking down, knees are unlocked, you're, you're dropping down into the earth, feeling that and allowing that earth chi to rise through the, the bubbling well points in your in the soles of your feet. So at the same time, you reach up with the crown of your head, tucking your chin. And doing this, you open the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. We've covered all that before and all the three pillar stuff, but uh, so you can go back to the earlier videos if you're just, jo just joining us and check in with that. But right now, just do what I say and, and just get the feeling of it. So you're reaching with the crown of your head, tucking in your chin and opening the jade pillow gate. And this allows the Jing Shen, the spirit of vitality, to be activated in throughout your body mind. And Feel your index fingers and feel that energetic coherence. And also feel your fingernails and round your fingers a little bit and just get this kind of, actually bend your wrist a little and just get some dragon claws going here today. Get that, get that feeling. So you want to feel that immediately. You notice that, that the chi in your hands gets activated as soon as you adopt that posture. 
So reach with your elbows and open your shoulder joints. And notice that your chi is already cranked up. It's ready to go. And then release your quad. Just turn a little bit. Just get that nice and relaxed. So you're settling down, down, down into your feet. Feeling through your feet and into the earth. So you're getting the, the yin chi of the earth is coming up. And your yang chi of the heavens is descending and you're getting filled with that and you become a conduit for the big chi. And whenever convenient, uh, place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth and this connects up the conception and, and governing vessels. We'll breathe through your nose as much as you can. Let's breathe down into your belly. Use your diaphragm to push down on your internal organs as you do that. You want to get your autonomic nervous system all balanced up as we do these things. Now step up and sink into that reaching with the crown of your head, but everything else is reaching down. And you got those dragon claws there on your on your fingers. You're reaching down. The uh, raise your hands just a little bit. Notice that if they're all the way down, that's one energy. But if you bring them up about you know, a few inches, notice that there's something else going on there. So we're activating this this very powerful wood chi now and it's circulating throughout the body mind and it's nourishing your tendons and ligaments it's also nourishing your bones but they feed into the same system as your connective tissue system so you're nourishing the bones as well so you're increasing your bone density by circulating the chi through that. Now, rotate your palms, your forearms, so your palms are facing up and carry into the balls of your feet and carry the chi as you're pulling up. Feel the heaviness of your arms. Feel the circulation, in your arms and your hands and your fingers. Reach out, open, open your shoulder blades. Feel that your back opening, reach with your elbows, your wrists, your fingers. Now sink in your heels and rotate your forearms, palms down. And Sink. You're going very yin now. Feel the energy going down, down, down through your feet into the earth. You're sinking and letting go into the balls of your feet. Rotate your forearms, palms up. So here we are. This is yang. We're expanding, we're opening and reaching. Feel your body filling with chi, circulating throughout, activating all the cells, nourishing all the systems of your body. Now go into your heels, rotate, and uh, let that energy go. So it's that pulsing between the two poles there, between the yin and the yang, that give us our power. Feel the, the, those fingernails, feel those dragon claws. And one more coming up into the balls of your feet. Reach. And this time you sink back into your heels as you reach forward. So we're expanding where the young movement forward, the yin movement backward. 
And now go into the balls of your feet as you pull back, reaching with the uh, fingernails, carrying with the fingernails as you pull back and then sink in your heels and reach forward. Now the balls of your feet and pull back. Good, now go into your heels and rotate your forearms and reach with your fingers as you sink back open. And as you go into the balls of your feet, you feel those claws activated as you're pulling back. And very gently, everything is very relaxed. You're extending, opening, sinking in the heels and pulling. Into the balls of your feet. Your body comes forward. Now your body retreats as your arms reach out. So we're getting this pulsing going on like a bellows. We're amplifying the chi. By having these poles in opposition, the hands are working counter to the body. There. Reaching, withdrawing. And it's this pulls in opposition that creates chi, creates energy flow throughout the whole body mind. Good. Now step forward with your right foot and Reach and back into your left foot as you reach out and then into your right foot as you pull back and forward. Sink into your left leg as you reach forward with your hands. Sink into the right leg as you pull back. Extending as you reach back, fingernails pulling back. So we're getting this yin yang in each movement. Step back with your right foot and forward with your left foot. And same thing. As your body goes forward, your arms go back. As your body goes back, your arms come forward. Pulling with the fingernails. As you come back, reaching with the fingers as you extend. Nice and gentle, very supple. So each of these movements allows you to reclaim some lost territory there in your arms, in your shoulders, in your back, in your legs. You're gently doing these things that your body knows how to do, but maybe doesn't get a chance to do very often. So nice and easy. You feel that circulation, the chi circulating, the blood circulating, you know, the lymphatic system circulating, everything is circulating nicely as you move through this. And then step back. And pause. Arms come up and reach out. So reaching forward and pulling back without moving. So you, as Mr. Yang would say, it's like 
Body wants to reach forward, but cannot. You know, wants to pull back, but cannot. You know, so you're having this opposition there in your intention. So you're feeling those pulls in opposition without the movement. As we do this, and we start to feel this, we learn to do what the uh, what the Young Family 40 chapters talks about. You, as you learn to consciously move and consciously feel, you learn to interpret chi. You learn to, you understand it and you're able to to um, get what the chi is doing without the movement. But first you got to get the movements. You got to get the feeling, the conscious mindfulness in your in the movement and in the in the feeling and then you interpret the chi. And this opens the door to spiritual illumination. And let that go. Uh, sink in your heels. Allow the energy to circulate through your body. And you're not, you're not leading it, you're not forcing it, you're just allowing it. You've got ample chi right now to do whatever you want, so just let it do its, its thing. Now step in. Take a deep breath, go into the balls of your feet, inhale, and exhale, sink into your heels, yin, let the, let the chi go. So what we're letting go is the, the chi we've been playing with. So what we have, we've already primed the pump. So we have this powerful potentiality that is there to summon whenever we want. So as you're doing the Yang Chig Fu form, we're going to activate that wood chi too. But don't force anything. You're just allowing it to happen because we've already created the the conditions and the structures to allow that to happen. So um, for those who are just joining us uh, on the YouTube, uh, you know, this is Yang Cheng Fu's 13 original postures. It is a, uh, a short but very powerful form that we, uh, we've, been, we've been playing with for a few weeks now. And we're gonna go over the next few movements. We're gonna first, revisit what we've already done, then we'll go over the next few movements. But the point of emphasis of this is to really slow everything down and really feel into it in painstaking detail so you can see, see exactly what makes these things tick, at least from my interpretation. There's lots of ways to do these movements and I do not have the, uh, uh, the corner on the market here. What I have is my own my own uh, interpretation that I've, I've developed over over several decades of this. So let's uh, let's uh, begin with the uh, feet heels together, toes apart, and we will review what we uh, what we've done so far. But we're not going to linger too long. You can go back to the earlier videos and and get those broken down. So let's begin. So feel the. Uh, the weight in your heels, just feel it in the, the heels and of both feet. You want to have your weight 50 50. Now feel your right heel. Allow your weight to start to settle into that and spiral down to the left. 
So you're loading up the right leg. So now you're gonna have about 70% in the right leg. And now turn and continue to load up the right leg, emptying out the left. So you have about 90% in the, in the right leg now. And now pick up the left heel. And now you have about 95%. Now you step out and that's 100% in the right leg. Now you set the left foot down, that's 90. You feel the heel of the left foot, you settle into that. And you get about 90, about 50% in the left leg now. And turn and turn your right, uh, right heel. So here we have, we're back to 50-50. Elbows are out a little bit. Arms are slightly curved, reaching with the crown and sink into the balls of your feet and reach with your wrists. And reach with your fingers and pause a moment there. Just feel into this young expression as we're reaching out there. Feel those fingernails. Now sink in your heels and reach down with your elbows. Bend your wrists. Fingers come down. Reach down with your fingers, go into the balls of your feet and feel that young expression there. So like I said, we're doing this in real detail here. So you get a chance to, to feel what the, uh, the energy alchemy that's, that's occurring. So now we're going into the um, wave hands like clouds. So feel the heel of the left foot and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up the left leg and then turning to the right, or turning to the left, I'm sorry, turning to the left and reaching with your right hand. Shoulders relaxed, reaching with the fingers, feel those fingernails. The left hand is reaching down also. Pause a moment here and just feel into that. This never gets old for me. So, you know, doing it for decades, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I still feel, you know, every time I do it, it's, it's like the first time. So now feel the ball of, or the heel of the right foot, set the right knee and spiral down to the left. You're loading up that right claw, and now you're going to turn. And when you cross the center line, go to the ball of your right foot, and this shift you into yang. So here you are, you reach open, shoulders are relaxed, and both arms are reaching out. Notice that they're parallel. So when you reach out, you're looking out there, looking at, at you know, through your hands, and now feel the left heel and then set the, set the left heel, set the left knee and spiral down to the right. Now turn to the left. And as you do that, the left hand is up now. Right hand crosses. Now go to the ball of your left foot and reach. And don't worry about memorizing all this stuff. You can always go back to the video and check it out. Now feel the right heel, set the right knee and spiral left and turn, turning to the right. Now go into the ball of the right foot and turn. So we're doing the same thing we're doing with the E-Tran exercise. We're, we're pumping those, that bellows, that yin yang, and we're generating energy by poles in opposition. Pick up the left, so feel the heel of the right foot, Set the right knee and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up the right leg about 90%. Now pick up the heel of the left foot, 95%, and step out 100%. And then, ah, okay, heel of the left foot, set the left knee and spiraling down to the right. Now you're loading up the left leg and turning. Now feel the left ball and reach. Step in. So we're in the left leg now, reaching out. This is the yang expression of this movement. This completes the, the uh, cloud hands part. And now we're gonna go into a single whip. So feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee, bow down to the left and turn. So as we do that, the right hand forms a bird's beak. The left hand is below the navel, palm up. 
Notice the right elbow is dropped. Shoulders are relaxed. And we're sinking into that right quad. So there's a spiral down to the right. And now feel the ball of the right foot and turn. And turn 90 degrees, reaching out with your right wrist. Bring it up to about ear height. And uh, this is a young expression. So we're reaching out with that wrist. So this is what it looks like here. So I'm, I'm turned, I'm reaching out. Notice that my wrist is up about ear height and elbows dropped so that, and, and slightly bent. Not, not severely bent, but not, not straight, but you know, almost straight. And so here we are, we're back to, we're here. So we, then we feel the right, right heel spiral down to the right. We're loading up that right leg because we're going to take a step with the left foot now. We have to really commit fully to that right foot. So then we pick up the left, come out in the heel of the left foot, set the left knee, set, set the left knee. Notice I'm not pushing the knee out too far. It's just a little bit forward of vertical. The shin is a little bit forward of vertical. And my left hand comes up, palm up. And I'm opening my shoulders, my chest, reaching out. This is a big form. So we're already getting that. So now we're going to turn. But the turn is going to come from the left leg. So this is, you're going to kind of pull your body into place rather than pushing it from the back leg you're going to pull it into place. And as you do that, you're going to pivot on the right heel and rotate the left forearm. And notice that the right leg is almost straight. My, my back is in line with my leg. So there's a, a slight, the forward, uh, a slant. The body is slanted forward just a little bit. You're reaching out there. Notice that the, the right arm is out to the uh, to the right about 90 degrees from from the direction of uh, I'm facing and so then we had that's the single whip so now we're going to go into the uh, fist under elbow the next move so you feel the heel of the the left foot spiral down to the right and then turn to the left and as you do that all the weights in your left leg and you step up so that just on the, lightly on the toe of the right foot. The right hand goes up above your head with the reaching with the wrist. Left hand is down below your navel. And feel the, the heel of your right foot. Now you step in with the right foot and you feel the heel of that. You set the right knee and as you spiral down to the left, you're sinking into that right leg. The right hand comes down, turns into a fist below your, below your navel. Left hand comes up to chest height. So here we are, and this is a yin posture. We're sinking in, we're gathering. But now what are we gonna do? We're going to feel the ball of the right foot and then turn. And as we turn, we come on the heel of the left foot. Reach out with the left hand straight out from the shoulder, straight forward, and the right fist comes down below the navel, near to the crown. So here we are, we're in the ball of the right foot, where the yang position is a yang expression of this, of this uh, fist under elbow posture. Now feel the heel of the right foot, Set the right knee, spiral down to the right, and step with the left foot a little bit to the side. So we're notice we're loading up that right claw, the right leg. Left hand stays out, reaching out. The right hand is going to turn into, it's going to open up here in a second. Now we're going to feel the heel of the left foot, set, put the left knee up. I'm going to spiral it down to the right and then turn to the left. And as you do that, you reach forward with your hand. Open the right hand, palm up. 
left, and it's coming underneath the left hand as you do that. You're spiraling down to the left. So now you feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, and then turn. Go into the ball of your foot as you're turning, 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 reaching up with that right hand. Left hand just lightly. This is a variation on this. You, you don't have to do it this way, you, but um, I, I like the, uh, the, the feeling of opening and just having that contact there. You know, really feel yourself reaching with that right hand. So now you're going to go into the heel of the right foot as you turn and then go to the ball of the foot and reach with the right hand, reaching up and forward with that. But notice that this is white crane spread wings. We're lightly on the toe of the left foot. Left hand is pressing down. So we're having these, I talked about poles in opposition. We have this reaching up with the right hand, reaching down with the left. Everything's expansive. So it's a very young posture here, really opening up, very big, okay? So this is, uh, this is where, we, uh, where we got to last week. So going forward, we're going to, okay, this movement, I'll do it facing you first. So here I am with this. Notice that my hand is open too. It's open, it's rounded. It got those fingernails, got the, those dragon claws. So, and and the, the hand is forward of the head. So it's not back here, it's, it's like this. You're, you're reaching, it's a very, like I say, young posture. It's, it's, it, it's extended, extending outward. So here we are. So what I'm gonna do now is next move. And this is uh, brush knee twist step. So from the side, it looks like this. I go one, step forward with the left foot, sink into the left leg. Again, we're using the left leg to power this. So this can also be done, and it's done, a lot of people do it where you're, you're pushing from the back leg and that's perfectly valid. And uh, I have personally found that that there is a uh, a benefit to to pulling yourself forward rather than pushing forward, and uh, particularly in terms of application. So, but that's that's something we'll get into some other time. But the uh, uh, for our purposes here, the idea is is if you're Pulling, pulling forward. What I find is it has a quality of uprooting. This contact here, there's, there is a, it's, you're changing the vector of the energy. Whereas going from the back foot, you're, you're, it's more flat and, and this is more up whenever you go from the front leg. But uh, uh, try it both ways and, and uh, see how it feels for you. So, here I am, white crane. So start with the, the heel of the right foot and set the right knee and then spiral down to the left and then turn to the right. And as you turn to right, the right foot goes from the heel to the ball. So we're going to the ball of the foot now as we turn and extend backwards. So it's a young expression here. And then we sink into the heel of the right foot and spiral down to the right. So this is a yin. And then step forward with the left foot. 
push the left knee up, set that. So you're loading that left, the left quad now. Feel that you're, you're winding the spring here because you're, notice you're turning. We're heading that way, but I'm looking this way. So I'm getting a big wind up because I'm going here and I'm going to turn. The left hand comes across and the right hand comes forward, right about ear height. Wrist is bent, you're reaching with the wrist. And notice that the back leg is, you know, just almost straight. You reach straight forward with the, uh, straight forward with the right hand. Left hand reaches down. So then you have this, and you have that slant. You get the right leg is almost straight. The body is, is lining up to that. So you, it has this definite directional energy involved here. Okay, let's do that again from the white crane. So right heel, barrel down to the left. So this is yin. We're loading and then right ball, turn to the right. Right hand comes down, left hand comes across. And just pause for a moment right here. And just feel that you're reaching out with that left hand, reaching down with the right. That extension there is creating a lot of power. A lot of jin gets created just with this simple movement here. So what, what's happening here is I'm going loading up and uh, this hand is coming across. It's not empty. It's, it, there's, there's stuff there. It's, this is this is a powerful tool that I've got as I'm coming across here. And it is part of its power is coming from a lot of its power is coming from the fact that I have these poles in opposition. I'm reaching out with my left hand, reaching down with my right hand, feeling those fingernails. So there's all this wood cheese is, is circulating throughout my system right now. And I've got a very strong, like in uh, in football, we used to give a clothesline to uh, to to people. So it's a it's a a uh, you get that that extension there. It's a very powerful weapon you can you have. But it's also just feeling the energy of it as you're coming across. So now what we do? This hand continues. The right hand continues up 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 up. You're loading up. You're reaching into the ball of your right foot. This is a yang posture. There's a, ah, you're, you're reaching to the, to the heavens here with this. And I'm uh, exaggerating a little bit just so you really can feel the energy here. You can do this form a lot subtler than, uh, than I'm teaching it right now. But this is, I really want you to feel the, the chi here. So we're loaded up in that right leg and so now we're going to go from this yang to ah, yin. We feel the heel of the right foot spiral down to the right. And what does that do? That loads up that right leg so that I can pick up my left heel and very gently step forward with the left foot. Push the left knee out. And I'm loading up that left quad now because I'm going to end up like here, but right now I'm 90 degrees away from that. So this is coming in here, and as you turn on that heel, you get your cocked up, you're ready to go here. So notice this posture here. Just feel into that. You're reaching with the with both elbows, reaching with the wrists. You're loaded up. Feel the potentiality that is that is available to you. Because so now you're going to then feel the ball of the left foot. You're going to go young now and turn and reach forward with the right hand. Left hand crosses over to the side, reaching down. Notice that the hand is, it's out there. Not so far, but it's, it's definitely reaching. We're not here, we're, we're, about, you know, two-thirds of the way out. 
And this is, creates this very strong young forward thrust, this movement. Okay, what do we got time we got here? Okay, we got this, so let's just finish this off here. So let's go uh, again. So we have a white crane, right ball, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, yin. Right ball, turn, right hand comes down, left hand reaches out and crosses. Reach, 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 turn, 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 into the ball of the right foot and reach. Right ball, right heel, in, spiral down to the right. So you're loading up that right claw, right leg, so that you can now make a step with the left foot. And the heel. And left heel, set the left knee. And spiral down to the right. Right hand comes like you're going to tickle your ear. And now you feel the ball of the left foot and turn, reach, 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 reach. You're driving that with that turn of the, of the, the waist, the, the quaw. You're reaching out nice and relaxed into that left leg. And feel the power that is circulating throughout your body right now. Feel the chi. Good, okay, so let's go through everything up to that point. Um, do it without talking. Just I'm going to do it without talking. Just for, so, for continuity. And in fact, I'm going to turn my back to you so you can follow along that way. So, here we go. Begin.
you step in. Take a deep breath. Balls of your feet, young, and then into your heels and exhale, yin. Let go of the chi. Please have a seat. How'd that go? Good, good, good. Well. Good. So any uh, thoughts, uh, questions, or even insights that you've got that you'd like to share with people who uh, you know, might be checking us out on YouTube and whatnot? So if there's anything else you, you, know, you, you personally have, have thought about. Uh, Scott, you have something? Um, that last step, is it straightforward? I thought it was forward and out. Is it straightforward? First, I, when I first learned it, it was forward and out. Um, and then um, as I'm, uh, now it's more more straight straightforward, more in line. So the it's sort of characteristic of this particular uh, uh, set that it's a very, narrow, wide and narrow stance. No, not a wide, a long and narrow, that's it. Wide and narrow, does not, that doesn't make sense. No, <laughs> it's long, long and narrow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, a long, narrow stance. So that, uh, so yeah, so it's, it's more straight ahead. Cool, any, uh, any nuggets, pearls of wisdom to share with people? No, no poils. Yeah, Scott. Well, uh, yeah, definitely doing the doing the qigong before and just the really slowing it down. Really, you really get uh, you know you can I can really feel the the energies and the different energies and um, it's really hot in here again. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yes, yes, I started off kind of on the chilly side and I'm all toasty now. <laughs> nice. The uh, that last one, the uh, brush knee to a step. The the mechanics of that, the way of, you know I'm teaching it there. Like I say, it's coming off the front leg. It's something that I picked up from uh, William C. C. Chen, and uh, it's how he teaches. He taught us boxing. It's like how how to deliver a very powerful punch. You know, by by you're using the the claw to, to you know that the whole turn of the whole body to uh, extend your arm out. So it's like you're you're sending a, a very strong punch, and I used it very successfully in uh, in push hands. So using that 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 mechanic. So as I said earlier, it was like you know has a, a, a an uprooting quality to it. You know the energy that gets produced there. So I, that's one of the um, I think one of the benefits of doing it that way. Well, I know for me, the more that um, we do this with the focus on now you're in the ball of the foot, now you're in the heel of the foot, that's um, coming much easier for me. You know, yeah. my body's understanding it. Doesn't even, I, I kind of bypass my brain, you know, but my body's understanding. Yeah, and it's 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 something that I've only been teaching now for for probably less than a year, teaching it that way. I've just and it's something that uh, you know I've I've done it, but it's not uh, it hasn't been a focal point just because it seemed like it was it was a little much for particularly for beginners, and so I kind of got into just all right, just crank it up, put it in the ball of the foot. But having that, as we are becoming more and more focused on the on interpreting chi on really feeling that we we need that we need that that 
structural reinforcement that allows the energy to flow better that way. It really contributes to the alchemy, I think. It really, it really plunks it up a couple of levels. It really does. It's, Beautiful. Good. Yeah. And not something to obsess about, but it's something to notice it, you know, and do it when you can. Yeah, Valerie. Can you explain again what you mean by interpreting the chi? That's the uh, the usual interpretation the of of you know the the, the classics there. It's the interpreting chi. Uh, you know, my understanding of those words is as we attune more and more to mindful. Uh, moving and feeling that is your your sensing and you're also your your sensory and your motor functions you're becoming more mindful of those then we you claim more control of your brain and as you do that then you become more cognizant of more um, of more insubstantial qualities of your being particularly your energy. So as you become more and more focused on that, you become aware of energy and information that was not available to you before. Whenever you're, whenever you are at a pre-conscious level with your sensory and motor functions. So as we do that, we get, oh, then you're able to distinguish between this energy and that energy. So I'm talking about wood chi here. Okay. This is, you know, that you're interpreting energy. If you can say, oh, I feel this particular quality of energy and I and I understand it as wood chi, then you're you're there. You're 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 you know, you've you've already crossed over the threshold into interpreting chi. Once you once you can say, yes, I can feel I can feel there's something going on here. And so this is a, that's why this is the, a wee bit of alchemy, you know, it's we're, we're going and we're taking these little baby steps into this world of, you know, magic and of, of, of you know, understanding stuff that is, you know, wasn't usually meant, intended for people like us. It was, <laughs> it's a, so it's, it's it's pretty cool that we you know, we have access to this right now, that uh, we can uh, you know it used to be just the adepts, just the you know of, of people who you know the higher higher skilled people were able to do this. No, no, we, everybody can do this now. So that's that's the we're democratizing the uh, this process. Jonathan, I'm just, I'm just increasingly impressed by how much more effective this is as a form of meditation of breathing the chi through the whole body rather than just in the belly of the nose as the standard sort of buddhist way sitting mostly that there's so i mean because the instruction of the buddha really was to breathe through the whole body but nobody does that and this actually puts us in touch with the whole body right in a, in a in remarkable way uh, you know just even now the subtlety of you know, the heel and the balls of the feet. You can, again, I love these exercises you can do while you're watching television uh, or trying to ignore the TV sometimes. It's just, you pulse, right? I mean, you you sit, the energy goes out in the heel. I mean, you sink into the earth of the heel and then you, you you put into the, with your ball of the foot and you go back and forth between that. It's amazing how much presence that brings to you. And the hands as well, and then the elbows a little bit. I mean, there's just so much more, increasingly to be aware of and yet it's one unified body you be, you're getting in touch with it's really a, a remarkable gift so i thank you for it. beautiful beautiful thank you that's that, that's eloquently stated thank you so yeah uh anybody else before we sign off okay thank you all so much it's been great and uh bye. thank you maria bye-bye thank you maria thank you, thank you maria it's birthday this saturday Yep. That's right. Happy happy, happy, happy happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yes, happy, happy Valentine's Day. Happy birthday. And, and happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras.